earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. It is not for form that God introduced himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three shall a truth be established. By the time they say the second time, it's getting stronger. By the time they say the third time, it is sealed and settled. So if he didn't say I'm the God of Abraham, he could have said I'm the God of Abraham. But to know that his works are ordained to continue on the earth. He said, when he sent Moses, Moses, he didn't want to go before anyway. So I said, who will now who will I now say to them, send me? Will I say a God of the burning bush, of leaves that are not consumed? Do they know you? He said, who will I say I am? He said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm the God of continuity. What I start in a vessel on the earth, I intend that it will continue down the lineage. God never planned that his move will end with one man. He plans that it will continue to continue. And in it continuing, it will be magnified and be amplified. It is the devil's strategy to shut down the move of God on the earth with the hands of believers. By making us so feel, you can't be putting your children in ministry after you. Businessmen are putting their sons in their business. Somebody starts a bank, he raises his son to take over. Politicians are raising their seat to take over after them. Not so. Even in the military, people are sending their children to me to take over after them. Why should it be in the kingdom that they will not take over after us? It is a cost. For the child of a Christian not to serve God, there is no greater cost. Because for that person, the future is cost. It must not be in your own lineage that your son will become the enemy of God. Do you know that all the children that, um, that uh, Lord's, Lord's daughters gave birth for him, they were the ones that grew up to become the mighty major enemies, the major mighty enemies of Israel, enemies of God. That God had to bring his mighty hand to withstand them and destroy them. Sons of Ammon, Moab, that rose up against Jehoshaphat. You must not bat error. Tell your neighbor, I will not bat error. Ah, you must not bat error. It is not, it is, it should not be you that you will bat error. It should not be you, it should, it should not be your seed that will duplicate vagabondry on the earth. It is time to fight for your seed. It's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He wants you to continue. Biologically, and then spiritually. That's why we have adoption of sons. That's why Elisha was adopted for Elijah. That's why Joshua was adopted for Moses. He continues down the line. It must not be your seed that we hate God. It must not be your seed that will be taken over by the evil that is waxing thicker in the next generation. You must be filled with light in an overly manner, in an overwhelming dimension. That the darkness, the thick darkness that the Bible talks about in Isaiah chapter 61, sorry, Isaiah 60, that the Bible talks about that thick darkness that I say will cover the earth. It is, it is covering the earth. That is why your own seed must know that in your own home, it is Christian marriage you have. 
not just marriage, because marriage in the world has a new definition. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.